here with us today at NOAA are Kealoha Fox and Kaleo Manuel of the Obama Foundation. Happy you could join us today too. Thank you so much for taking the time. The Obama Foundation. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's really It's cool. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about it. So the Obama Foundation is President Obama and Mrs. Obama's legacy after departing the White House. This is their next steps, and this is the next um, big initiatives that they're working on. And here in Hawaii. Part of it is, is being launched here in Hawaii, and then we are part of this Asia-Pacific region uh, program that they're putting together. Well, it's not surprising coming from President Obama that he's looking to another generation mm -hmm. for the future. But it must be very exciting for both of you to be involved. How did you get selected? We were asked to apply, um, but we bring a lot of our skill sets and our work and our passion for community and helping community uh, with us. Um, and then we were selected as two to represent Hawaii, but there's others throughout the region, 16 countries, I think, mm -hmm. represented amongst the 21 of us as part of this design workshop. That's mm -hmm. fabulous. And, and what is your background that um, you would be noticed? They were really interested in my expertise in minority health, um, which everybody is familiar with the ACA and President Obama's legacy for um, addressing health care in the country. And so that's, that's a part of my wheelhouse. And so I think that was part of the reason why I was um, brought into the group. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, and I spent the past 10 years working with the Department of Hawaiian Homelands here in Hawaii. And, helping to rehabilitate Native Hawaiians by providing homestead opportunities throughout the state um, and working a lot with water and water rights advocacy. Um, that's really the foundation that I put out um, in my application. But what would be the, your vision for your participation mm. in this foundation? Mm. I think this is one of the greatest opportunities as emerging leaders to connect um, in, on a regional scale in Asia Pacific, learn from each other, mm -hmm. grow with each other, network with each other, um, a safe space to have conversations um, to become across, friends, to become maybe. friends, <laughs> yeah. definitely become friends. For yeah, I'm, I'm really similar, similarly inspired by all of the leaders. So um, leaders from Cambodia and China mm -hmm. and Aotearoa and Samoa and Guam. I mean, 16 different countries and yeah. territories where we're all talking a common language and we all have a really similar passion of how are we in service um, to our communities, to our countries, and um, through the Obama Foundation and their network, they're really uplifting us to be established leaders one day in this Asia Pacific region dialogue around economics, education, health, human rights, um, climate change is, is a big topic. Big topic. And we know we can't do it alone. And a parting message for a, young, a younger generation if you have a chance. I, I just say um, to the next gens that are coming up um, as an emerging leader myself that, you know, just um, honor who you are, honor who your ancestors are, honor the place that you are part of every day in the work that you do, and know that you have something to contribute. No matter how small, there's something that you can contribute to the betterment of our communities, our society, and, and the world. Mm -hmm. What a great yeah. message. Yeah. I would tell the next generation of leaders and our, our, our peers even that, um, just find, whether it's in your church, in your home, in a sports team, um, in a halal, um, there's ways in which every single one of us can be a leader and that we can tap into those qualities. Um, and I also believe with the place-based, um, that's the growth of our leadership capacity comes from place. And so I did want to just acknowledge that we're here at NOAA. We're sitting next to this important proclamation to Papahana Mokuakea, which is, is important for us to acknowledge for President Obama's legacy to Hawaii, to our Kupuna Islands, and the entire archipelago. Like, it's about the well-being of Hawaii. It's about the well-being of all of the it's islands. It's a taco thing. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. And, and yeah. The, the reflection of our environment, the health of our environment, is, is going to improve the health of us as people here in Hawaii mm -hmm. and well, in the world. So. We really do appreciate the time and the energy and the joy. And I would like to suggest that maybe some of your message too is to have fun. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. We, we have so much fun. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. Like 20 of, yeah. of us um, over the weekend. So thank that was really so great. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, mahalo. And thank you too for tuning in to the conversation we've had with Kealoha Fox and Kaleo Manuel of the Obama Foundation. Mahalo. Aloha.